Okay, saints, welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm Prophetess Nikki Pratt. Listen, this is a ninth hour alarm. This will be a series of, I just saw the number nine. I mean, nine for the last two weeks, uh, but stronger, especially yesterday. Everywhere I went, I saw patterns of nines, one eight, two seven. Um, I mean, 333 was around me on this side, in front of me, and then I saw 27, 18. I mean, it was 4 or 5. I mean, nines was everywhere. And you know what that means as a watchman. If you have to put out a ninth hour alarm, don't be weary because the Lord will definitely tell you, show you, what it is he wants you to put out. Jeremiah 33 and 3. 333. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, Call unto me, I will show you great and mighty things which you know not. I have a series of videos, one behind the other. Each video will be short and sweet. Um, so with that said, I'm going to get to it with a, a quick prayer. All right, by your heads. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord God, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your lessons, Lord God. We thank you for words and season, Lord God. We give you all the glory and the honor and the grace, Lord God. Father, we thank you that your mercy is sufficient for us, Lord God. Father, I pray over the people that are listening. Father God, I pray that their hearts will be open and ready to see receive your word today, Lord God. Let them not despise your word, the oracles of God, Lord God, today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Okay. The Bible says, despise not prophesying. This is a ninth hour alarm. The word has to be heard. The word has to be heard. Let me tell you, for like the last three days maybe, I have been hearing this in my spirit. The word has to be heard. And in prayer last night, this is when I first heard it, the word has to be heard. And when I was in the middle of praying and saying it, I mean, I would well up in tears and just bawling and crying, just drenched, okay? So, Jeremiah, this, I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 18, chapter 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9. This is a ninth hour alarm. The word has to be heard, despise not prophesying. And the word says, Jeremiah 18, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the land of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, and seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not? I'm sorry, can not I do with you as this potter, said the Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck it up and to pull down and to destroy it. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it. If it do evil in my sight, that it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good wherewith I said I would benefit them. Now, therefore, go to speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, okay, the Jews, saying, Thus said the Lord, Behold, 
I frame evil against you and devise a device against you. Return ye now, everyone from his evil way. Return ye now, everyone from his evil way. And make your ways and your doings good. And they said there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices and we will every one do the imagination of his evil heart. Therefore, thus said the Lord, ask ye now among the heathen who hath heard such things. The virgin of Israel hath done a very horrible thing. Will a man leave the snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rock of the field? Or shall the cold flowing waters that come from another place be forsaken? Because my people have forgotten me. They have burned incense to vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient past to walk in paths, in a way not cast up to make their land desolate and a perpetual hissing. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Jeremiah's words ignored. Then said they, come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. For the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come and let us smite with the tongue, and let us not give heed to any of his words. Mm. Give heed to me, O Lord, and listen. This is Jeremiah speaking. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken, which means listen, to the voice of them that contend with me. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them, and turn away thy wrath from them. Therefore deliver up their children to the famine, and pour out their blood by the force of the sword, and let their wives be bereaved of their children, and be widows, and let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. For they have digged a pit to take me and hid snares for my feet. Yet, Lord, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay. Forgive not their iniquity, neither blot out their sins from thy sight. Sorry. But let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thine anger. Again, the word has to be heard. We are in the ninth hour. It is a critical time to turn from our sins and cling near to the Lord. Okay? Uh, turn real quickly to the book of Romans, chapter 2. 10, verse 14. Um, my eyes are burning. Whoa. But she got to keep on pushing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen? I hope he's your strength too. Okay. Jeremiah, I'm sorry, Romans chapter 10. Verse 14 through 18, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. The word has to be heard. The word has to be heard. But I say, have not they not heard, yes, verily their sound went into all the earth and their words 
unto the ends of the world. What's interesting to me is that last verse that deal with the word having to be heard is 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. Okay, turn quickly to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. My phone is here. This will be quicker. Okay. Um... <clears throat> First, this page is six. It's kind of driving me nuts. But First Thessalonians chapter four, verse eight. You'll probably be there before I will. Okay. One page, two minutes, and it reads. He therefore that despise it, despise it not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. Turn quickly to 1 Samuel chapter 15. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verses 22 through 23. Goodness, 14 is long. And it reads, And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. Verse 23, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. Turn quickly, the last verse, and I'm going to let you go. Psalms 106, you guys pray about what I've just spoken to you. Psalms 106, verse 24. Yea, they despise the pleasant land. They believe not his word. The word has to be heard. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand.